Now he has to turn on all 14 cameras. Here's somebody in prison, an inmate, and he was making me want to be better, making me want to do more. It was a very interesting dynamic because not only was I learning, but I could vicariously live through <laughs> her. Like, I'd be studying all this business. I'd be like, Robin, here's an awesome idea to do. Surfing through the radio one night, young in prison, this bubbly, genuine young lady pops onto the radio. You know, that's how we met. He was my number one fan. Number one fan. <laughs> in prison, you know, the environment is completely negative, and I just kind of made an internal commitment that I would use every minute of my time to better myself. That included studying business, marketing. I immersed myself in the Bible, learned how to speak multiple languages. We had spent seven and a half years dreaming and visioning what our life was gonna be like. And all of a sudden, right before it's time for him to come home, it started going really downhill really fast. Yeah. The local economy where I live, the space shuttle program shut down. This happened right at the bubble bursting for the real estate market, yeah. 2008, 2009. So the economy's tanking. She had a business that was locally driven. Yeah, and, and I was kind of really stressed out at the time because the business was really going down. So it was just one thing after another. Yeah, and like this domino was just of things going on. And so, so he comes home and a month of him being home, I got fired from my job because my boss did not like the fact that I was, was married, married to an inmate. I couldn't get a job, nobody would hire me. Right. And then she's like, hey Mike, I'm, I'm pregnant. And we cried, like we literally cried like babies. We now find ourselves broke and jobless. You know, I, I remember we just kind of looked at each other and just decided that, you know, we're gonna make our own way. We knew that we had to go big or go home yeah. and we were gonna go online and we knew we needed to fund our dream. You know, we did what, you know, I guess what any savvy entrepreneur would do, and we started selling trash on Craigslist. We just naturally had this love and passion for marketing because when he was in prison, we would study marketing. The realization when we landed that first client, because our first client was in Australia, like made it all real. $13 an hour. $13 an hour. And we were so excited we about it. We were for real. Because it proved to us that we can do this. Now we just have to just get better at it, scale it and get bigger. We were taking those skills and applying them to clients and you know, building landing pages and websites for them and online marketing stuff. And so we just became these like idea giving machines. Because we knew that it would reciprocate more for us to do for them, right? And it was beautiful. It was like our big budget playground. Yeah. So we got to see all these different scenarios, what works for who and what's just a bunch so of So we really hype. got to just hone our skills and really learn from real life examples. And so we started making our clients millionaires. <laughs> yeah. So we had like a waiting list of clients. We're doing this done for you. We've got a waiting list of clients and we were visiting Robin's family for Christmas, which is they live in Michigan in this really small town. And her dad lives up on this mountain where there's like no internet. So every day we would have to drive her mom's truck with 240 pounds of sandbags <laughs> in the back of the truck so that we wouldn't slide around on the ice down the mountain to the church to use the internet and do client work every day. And on the way back, going up the mountain, <laughs> we would get stuck every single time. And we're looking at each other and we're like, this sucks. Yeah. We had created a business that was a prison for us. It owned us, our business owned us. And we were like, we have got to make a change. Definitely. So from that Christmas, you know, Robin and I, we kind of just drew from all the experiences and challenges we'd faced before in life. We decided that we are going to do, you know, just strictly the consulting, you know, online marketing side of things. And we've not looked back. We easily surpassed that multiple six figure spot from there within 18 months of it. And, and that's, that's where we're at, what we're doing now. For someone watching this video, you're in one of two places. You're either already have leverage and you're doing well, you're making sales, and you want to put it on steroids. Or you're somebody who's in a spot like we were years ago and you don't have leverage. You're trading hours for dollars. You're not free in your business. And that's where Robin and I can help you as well. And I would hope that when somebody hears our story, that you would see what's possible for you. That you can hear 
all the kind of crap that we <laughs> went through. And you could be like, man, if they could dream that and they could make it happen, that if we could be crazy successful in spite of all that, that anybody can. Make it happen.